What's up YouTube? Welcome to episode 34 of Pokemon Crystal Randomizer. In the last episode, we defeated our rival. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And we arrived at the Indigo Plateau. The ultimate goal for trainers, Pokemon League HQ. Alright, we're here. Our team is all set. Everyone's level 36, 37, level 30. I did a little bit of training and I uh, gave Robbie rare candy. The final move set of every Pokemon is Lucky with the moves. Solar Beam, Flash, Stun Spore, and Petal Dance. Robbie with the move Surf, Spark, Supersonic, and Flail. Kira with the moves Metronome, Transform, Shadow Ball, and Fly. I'll get me up to level 40, but uh, it's too much time when it's uh, Psychic level 40. I'll have to deal with that without it. T Rex with the moves Bite, Dragon Breath, Surf, and Rock Slide. Albert with the move Surf, Dynamic Punch, Strength, and Icy Wind. And finally, Emil the Charizard, are lo level 30 with moves Flamethrower, Earthquake, Fly, and Iron Tail. I'm going in full strength. I'll probably put uh, Albert out front because he is neutral to everything. Uh, I bought all my items. I have them right here. Actually, 20 Hyper Potions, 18 Full Heals, and uh, 23 Revives. We're ready. So I bought all my stuff. All my moves, just head on in, and we'll get started on the randomizer the Lee 4. Ready? Let's go. Alright, so the first trainer here is I forgot her name. Or it whatever. Alright, welcome to the Pokemon with David. Now introduce myself, I am Will. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's a guy? What? What's he wearing? I train all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. Apparently ice means uh psychic. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Alright, man, bring it on. So, Will is the first Elite Four member of Johto. And he is going to have five Pokemon? Alright, <laughs> randomizer luck. He's going to start with a Dugon. How fitting. We're back in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Level 40. Oh, man, this is going to be interesting. Uh, let's go right out of here with Dynamic Punch. A Dynamic Punch hits has like a 50% accuracy. It is going to probably kill it because uh, I think it's weak to it. And then I have a punch hit, and it is super effective. This should do a lot of damage, and and almost a one hit KO. Very close. Okay, perfect. Now since he's probably gonna heal, oh, he's not gonna heal. Okay. Up, oh, you synthesis. That's gonna heal him actually. Unfortunately, it's gonna give him a little bit of health. Okay, a lot of health, actually. Uh, I don't know why I went for Surf. I guess I was thinking that uh, it wouldn't matter, but... Oh, well. Didn't do that much anyway. Gotta hit him with another Dynamic Punch. Right, please, hit yourself, hit yourself with it. Okay, submission missed. Dynamic Punch. Oh, it hit? What? 50% accuracy move. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, cause confusion and death. Dugon is down. That's awesome. First Pokemon of the Elite Four down. Next up is Meganium. Okay. We have a meal for this. A meal, get out there. Against Meganium, which is level 41. Now, I am underleveled for this. I purposely did that because it's more fun being uh, underleveled and in a randomizer. So, let's just see if that's going to affect us with a flamethrower. And, come on. Bring it down all the way. And it did. Critical hit. I think that mattered. Meganium's down. It's a uh, six on three. All right. Next up for Will is Wooper. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually go to Rally for this one. Get Rally back out there. Have not used him in a while. Wooper is level 41. I believe it's only Water type, so this is actually not dumb. Uh, hit it with Spark. <laughs> oh, it is. It is ground and it is ground type. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right. Um, that didn't really ruin all my plans. I was kind of hoping it it wasn't, but it hit with Surf. It's kind of sad, though. Oh, well. Uh, Surf is still going to do a lot of damage. I got one hit. What? A one hit KO from Surf? Okay. <laughs> Robbie, you did your job. Uh, next up is Weeping Bell. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll give it to Kira. I want to change it up. Weeping Bell is going to be level 41. Okay, it is. Bringing Kira off this, I don't think Kira is strong enough to kill it, but I do have faith that I'm going to be faster. Alright, flew up high. 
uh, Fury Cutter that's actually stronger against Kira, so hopefully Kira can kill it one hit, but I'm not sure. Uh, it, but it did with a critical hit again? Holy shit, I'm getting lucky so far. Uh, one Pokemon left for Whoa. Next up is Meganium again? Y you know the drill. Just, uh, switch to a meal, go with that, and hope for another critical hit, because Meganium's gonna be level 42, I think the other one was like 41. So this actually worked out perfectly. Bring out a meal one more time, come with a flamethrower, and hope that even without a critical hit can kill it, but let's see. Meganium is going up, oh, it's in the yellow. So it did a lot of damage. Hit, with, uh, hit us with Thrash. That did nothing really. Flamethrower again. And that is going to be it for Will. Will is dead. One trainer down. Oh my god, we just... We got very lucky with uh, the Pokemon that we faced. Everyone we had weak, we had a advantage against except Wooper, but Wooper sucked. So Will, you're done. I can't believe it, man. I know, amazing. Even though I was defeated, I won't, ch I won't change my course. I'll continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, Dave, move on and experience the true ver uh, veracity of the Elite Four. Okay, so... We didn't really take that much damage that turn. I can actually use these lemonades. And we'll be up to full strength again for the next, uh... Next Elite Four member, I think it's Bruno. I think... Yeah, I think it is Bruno. I'm like 99% sure. Because Bruno is pretty... Actually, no, it might be the Koga. Koga or Bruno. Let's see. Uh... It is... Koga, I think? Yep. Alright. Fight him. I'm Koga the Elite Four. I live in shadows as a ninja. I intricate style, will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison, prepare to be the victim of my sinister technique. Oh god, not this guy. Alright, let's just hope that he does not have anything strong. And Koga should be easy though. He's got five Pokemon. Hope for something good to start. Skip Loom. Uh, I don't have the right Pokemon, I have Albert. Fuck. Actually, no, I'm fine, actually. I have Icy Wind, so... Or it's not gonna matter, because Skipping's gonna use Conversion and turn into a normal type, so it has no weakness. So that sucks, I have to hit it with just anything. But, uh, alright, at least it's Speed Fell, so I'll be hopefully faster. Or not take an Earthquake and, and hope that does not kill him, but Skipping's kinda weak, so... Wow. 20 damage? What? That's horrible. That's a that's a really strong move. Earthquake's really strong and said nothing. Uh hit with surf one more time. Earthquake we know is not gonna do anything to us, so it doesn't matter. And come on, surf. I think this should be enough. Depends and if I get lucky. Maybe strength would have been better here. Uh yeah, it's not enough. Switch to strength, earthquake one more time. Not gonna do anything to us, skip when we kinda suck. Uh, okay, hit it with strength. And that is gonna be the end of Skip Loom. It is dead. Alright. Next up for Koga is his Umbreon. Uh let me think. Bring T-Rex. I'm not sure what Dark is weak to. Dark's weak to Psychic. Maybe I don't have a psychic move, so it doesn't matter. I'm um, not actually really strong, level 43. Um, Dragon Breath, I'm not even sure. Alright, we cheat is, uh... It's gonna hurt T-Rex every turn. We cheat's actually really good whenever you can get it. That did nothing. What? That was a waste of a turn. Wow, that was horrible. And Rock Smash... How is Rock Smash super effective? Isn't... No, it's fighting. Rock Smash is fighting, even though it has rock in it. Makes sense, I guess, I don't know. Alright, Rock Slide it is doing nothing, wow. Wow, this Umbreon is strong. This could be bad, this could be really bad, actually. I might have to switch out after this turn. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, shit. This could be bad, Umbreon's really strong. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch. Uh, who's really... Go to Robbie. I have faith in Robbie right now. So switch T-Rex out, go to Robbie for this one. And hope that... Yeah, Rock Smash is weak. Six damage. Defense fell, I'm alright with that. Just hit with the Surf. Surf is, uh... 
normal move, it won't do anything extra. Uh, okay, I don't think I'm seated anymore. Yeah, I'm not. Alright, good. Uh, two more hits from Surf, and this Ambiance should be dead. I mean, Ambiance is not that strong, I hope. And... Oh, damn it, critical hit, so close. And I got lead sheeted, fuck. Alright, just don't heal your Pokemon, just don't heal. Alright, didn't matter, Umbreon's is dead. Uh, six on three, I'm gonna try and get through here without any Pokemon dying, but if they do, it doesn't matter because I have to revive the time does lock, so. Oh well, T-Rex gets some level, I mean, experience points from that. Next up is, uh, Gligar, that is, flying, I think, bug and flying. I don't know, I should be able to hit it with sparks and kill it. Uh, sing. Okay, good. It did not affect Ravi. Alright, awesome. Sparks. It, it did affect. Is it ground type? Is Glycor ground type? I guess I'm gonna find out now because we use Surf, but I didn't know that. Is it poison? Is it poison ground? Then why is it flying? Did I just miss? Well, I mean, it, it has to be ground type because it was super effective, but. That ground and flying? I mean. I don't know. I mean, it's dead now, but... Okay, whatever. Uh, next up is Giraffarig, which... Is Psychic, I think, so... This might be good for Kira. Giraffarig is level... 42. And if you actually spell Giraffarig back backward, it is Giraffarig, which is pretty cool. Um, I think Shadow Ball should do enough. Or it doesn't fucking affect, what, you Dark Type 2? Come on, I'm doing so bad with this stuff. Your bind is gonna just hold Kira up. I can't do anything to switch out. Good things move kind of sucks. Uh, let's go for Metronome. I'm feeling kind of lucky. Metronome is going to be Fissure. Oh, you fucker! Fissure is, I think, a one-hit KO move. It's like 30% accurate. If you hit, it's a one-hit KO move. So fuck, that sucks. Metronome again, come on. And... Drill Peck! Yeah, I think that's a strong move. I've seen it before. It did okay. Alright, bite. This is probably gonna kill Kira. Yeah, almost. Almost dead. It's not even worth me honestly keeping Kira off because Kira really is not strong against anything right now. Just go for another metronome. Hope that I get something strong like Fire Spin. Which is not that good, but at least it does residual damage, so. I'll take that. Alright, bite. Kira's dead. I didn't get through the, uh. Pokemon leave without Pokemon dying, unfortunately, oh well. Uh, I'll switch to a meal. Yeah, just go to a meal. Just burn that fucking thing. Uh, hit it with flamethrower. I was gonna use earthquake, but I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. Uh, probably nothing. Uh, flamethrower. Oh god, so close, damn it. I think fire spin might kill it, come on. No, it went away because you died. That's kind of bullshit, I mean, I did stop it. Oh well, Giraffic is dead. Very nice, I like that. Next up is Squirtle. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna stay in, honestly. Uh, do a Kanto battle. Uh, which starter's better? Meal level 39 or Squirtle level 44? We'll find out if there's Earthquake, which is going to do nothing. Nothing, really. Oh well. Uh, hit it with Iron Tail. I like Iron Tail a lot. This should do some decent damage or not. Damn it. <laughs> I'm very bad at this game. And Squirtle knows Flash. Huh. Maybe the Squirtle just sucks and I just got really lucky. <laughs> my balls in this worked out for once. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, oh, it's so close. So close. Damn it, Squirrel. You're just. Oh, uh, you motherfucker, why are you wasting that now? Why would you use a full restore now on it? It's gonna die, I mean, it's over. Alright, uh, that did a lot, actually. I'm actually gonna switch now, I, I tried, I really did try to do a Kanto battle, but the Squirtle, I don't think it has any attacking moves, so I'll just switch into Lucky, and I'll just either Solar Beam it or Petal Dance, I don't know. You rolled my accuracy, so fuck that, I'll just go for Petal Dance. Hope I can kill it. Probably from this far away on HP, I probably can't. Squirtle is very defensive. Uh, or I can, and I have no faith in Lucky. Squirtle's dead. I beat Koga. All right. 
we're going through this pretty fast, aren't we? Koga, you defeated Ah, you've proven your worth. And I got a lot of money out of that because of Lucky. Alright, I subject you to everything I could mess. I could muster up. But my efforts failed and I must hone my skills. Go right to the next room and put your abilities to the test. So, we are halfway through the Elite Four. Plus the champion, uh. We should probably heal our team. Oh, use lemonade. Heal our team, get our ship back together. And take on the rest of the Elite Four in the next episode. Now, I'm not one of those people that likes to self-indulge for stuff and say, Oh, I'm, I'm the greatest, I'm all that. Except, you know, I say that all the time. But, um, I think I'm doing pretty well with this. I think we have a very good grasp on this. And we should be fine for the next next part against uh, Bruno and Lance. Yeah, Bruno and Lance, I think. And then Champion someone, I don't even know. Maybe it's Lance. But... Our team is all alive. I gotta give Kira a lemonade, because lemonade, you know, somehow works. And I will see you guys next time.